this is our work in progress of the 8020 uh, lift mechanism. And as requested uh, numerous times, uh, we were going to do a little demonstration of how these parts work. And yeah, later on we'll do like a close up of these individual parts. Uh, so basically, <laughs> the way it works is the only thing that ever moves in relation to the robot is this string. <coughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, uh, this string will be on a spool in the motor, and all it will do is pull the string in. And the way the, the, the principle of the slides is that when the string is pulled all the way in, uh, the shortest possible length of the string is also the longest or the highest um, position of the lift. Um, so basically the idea is that when you pull this string, uh, it wants to bring this pulley closer to that pulley. And then when that uh, happens, <laughs> uh, the next one does the same. So this one wants to pull this one towards that one. And then so on. And that's how it works. And then, uh, then we'll explain how these linear bearings work in a bit. Okay, so uh, as promised, um, we're gonna show you a little more detail on how these linear slides work, or at least how we did them. Uh, there are many ways to do it. Uh, so first, uh, the linear bearing, which is the the main part that's holding these together. Um, Basically, they have one end um, bolted to the extrusion channel so they can't move, and one side is uh, low friction pads which allow it to move really easily against another two slot extrusion channel. And then that way, um, hopefully, we'll get this type of thing where it's easy to move and it's uh, hopefully stable. But we found that there are some. Uh, some imperfections with these, and uh, we use these shimmies that uh, came with them. But shims. also, yeah, shims. That's it. And but then we also uh, took the pads that were available on the 8020 site, and these basically are meant to be spacers, and they're uh, actually twice as long, but we cut them in half. Um, and basically, what we did was. Um, screw and or bolt this to the extrusion channel so it won't move and then on the top have a washer but if you can see the washer is um, bent so that it doesn't uh, jam with the other slide and if you have one on each si slide and you do it right it can get some uh, it takes some time to get it perfect um, if you do this, then this will actually be a relatively good linear slide on its own. But then, um, in addition, we have the linear bearings going across so that um, it's a little more stable. And then that's where... Uh, basically, imagine these on each level. So that, and then all the linear bearings in between. So, any way you move it, it will try to stay upright. And then when you pull it up, same thing. Yeah, that's about it. There's a lot of other uh, videos on very similar designs um, with FTC and Ring It Up two years ago, and some in Block Party last year. Like a common design that we have in the past and other teams have in the past is use um, drawer slides um, because these are also really nice um, if you want to create a set of linear slides that are a little bit lighter and um, these can work really well too. Yeah.